Yo, what's good boys? Welcome to the video. So in this one, we are going to be making a beat completely uncut, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. So yeah, if you enjoy that type of content and you want to see kind of like the ins and outs and all the stuff that doesn't usually make it into the videos, then you're in the right place. Um, we're basically going to be making a beat, not just uncut, but also unplanned. And I have no idea what kind of beat I'm going to make right now. I literally have just opened up FF Studio. I seen the last time I did this, the video did quite well. So I was like, you know what? Clear people want to see this, so let's do it again and have some fun with it. Let's get into it, boy. All right, so I think I'm going to use a MIDI. Uh, I want to use, I want to do like a kind of, I had this idea earlier. I wanted to do an R&B drill beat. Now that sounds kind of stupid, but I've seen a few people ask me to try it. And also it's kind of a thing. Uh, we're definitely going to try it. I'm going into contact right now. I really like the jazz guitar. Uh, and we're going to be using Guitar Hero Volume 17, which is what we used in our last R&B video, uh, which was so fun. I used uh, Rainy Days, I believe. So we're going to use something different. Uh, we'll see if we can kind of hear the drill influence on any of these. So that would be a really cool feature if you could play things in here, how they would sound if they were this tempo. Okay. I think you're using that one, you know, that one sounds kind of crazy. Differences, so it's close to the tempo we want as well, so we could probably pattern that easily. Uh, let's get up our guitar, jazz guitar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we need. That's lit. Oh yeah, that sounds way better. Should we solo it as well? Let's stick it in that hole. This is way too fucking short on this one. The fuck. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of guitar noise. Like that. that sounds nice. I just want to not have the release so sharp. I'm trying to wonder. Ah, it's in here, isn't it? It's uh, where is it? Main effect modulation. Ah, here we go. Attack is fine. It needs to have a a, lo a low release though. That's what it sounds like in C. Woo! Okay, this is gonna sound sick. That's literally without effects as well, so. Okay, now we're talking. Reverb. Drop the pre delay a little bit, drop the size a little bit, up the low cut a little bit. Okay, I think this is going to work. 
very nicely. So first thing we want to run through is this guitar. drop the attack on the, this one like quite low just so it's like a kind of slow build up type thing it's like So what I've done is very subtle, but basically I've just uh, lowered the sustain so that it kind of goes like a natural kind of curve rather than just like a because guitars don't do that. Guitars don't just hold their note like that. They kind of diminish over time and that's what the sustain is going to do and also the release as well. So yeah, more natural sounding and also just more pleasant. It's not taking up too much room in the, in the kind of melodics. It's kind of just fading out nicely. It's good. See, so look, just drop in. When all the drums are going, I think that will sound cool, but I don't really know what else to do with that. Good half time, I guess. I love that. Let's put that guitar rig that we like to use on the secondary guitar i think it'll be too much on the main one uh, we can still try it but i just yeah i just have a feeling uh the preset is actually called water seeing effects colored and it's so nice it's got such a nice chorus listen to the shit Try on this one too. I kind of want to up these losses a little bit. Put them a little bit low. Also, to stand out every time. Like, this one just doesn't hit.
This one's meant to be the one that's like up there, but it doesn't sound right. This sounds better though, doesn't it? It needs an arcade. It needs a vocal. Uh, it has one already on there, but we can add our own. You know, that's what we do. That's how we do, bro. Since we're going for like an R&B drill beat, we're going to be using hooks because we need them really nice vocals. Description. We want female. I don't want a, a guy. It's just going to sound weird. Where's... There was female. I missed it. Whoa, I like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's so nice, that one, but I need to make sure it's hitting at the right time. sick that's very nice we're gonna test that this is gonna sound good with dual drums imagine if it doesn't that's gonna be funny <laughs> not really but the way i test that is just pulling out the drum extension which isn't out yet i just dropping a loop in there and just being like yeah what does this sound like That sounds good. We like the savage one, don't we? We're not going to cheat. We're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to do it properly. Uh, I don't want to use them sounds anyway. It's not the right sound for this beat. This needs to be more of like a melodic beat. So I'm going to use some sounds from the trap drum kit. Uh, those being a clap to start with. That's for sure. I'll just copy that over real quick. That's like the standard kind of like drill bounce. We're gonna also use a hi hat from Trap as well. But a MIDI from Drill. I think it was the Savage one I like. Draw kick actually. That'll probably sound better, wouldn't it? Looks 
sign shift. I really like the dark one, sounds cool. Let's do this 808, let's get it in, let's get it done. longer 808 though like this yo well, well. that's what we need woo, woo. something along those lines maybe would sound really cool maybe even shorter than that maybe like that and the reason why I've added the gap is because it needs to come back down again so it goes So we need to sidechain this kick to this 808 because it's just not hitting as hard as I need it to. Um, so the way we do that is just put a limiter on the 808 uh, and just link it over like that. Link it there and then just drag this down. That can turn it. So now the, this thing is dropping every time it kicks. my channel bro we need to get this out into the world of beats uh, and just finish it yeah let's get it i'm excited 
This shit is super cool, man. Oh, oh, this might be a placement. Oh. Let's sort this out, okay. No, 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 start with that. Okay, we get rid of the kick and the clap. again I think so, so say this is the final bit of the verse comes a little bit slower you know so it's like not so much going on we can build it up that's what you want to do you want to so the chorus comes in it's like the big bit of the chorus yeah it's the main part of the song verse comes in you want to build you want to go right down to the bare minimum of the beat and slowly build it back up again to the next chorus so that's a big like wow the chorus is back again type of thing you know that's kind of how the structure would work most times here we go see let me bring the airway back in halfway. Ooh, Vogue comes in sound a little wavy. Basically, beat done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, yeah, let me know what kind of video you want to see next. Whether it's another one of these or a tutorial or anything like that, just let me know um, and I'll be happy to do it. Uh, yeah, make sure you check out the kit we used in this video, which was the Bi Loops Guitar Hero Volume 17. It's basically like our guitar 
uh, R&B MIDI kit, something like that. So yeah, check it out if you like that kind of stuff. Link down in the description. Also check out the drum collection. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.